How are we doing everybody? Right, apologies for the lack of content over the last couple of weeks. I've been abroad with Kimberly, we've been in Rome for the week. Back to reality and this turntable is being sent back to its customer. Now, to the untrained eye, you're gonna be looking at this thinking that's a nice clean unit, you know, nice and clean, well looked after. This was sold to my customer as an original unit with its original box in very nice condition. Well, it's not original, it's been refurbed. It's what I class as a Frank and Deck. There were mixed parts internally that weren't right. And uh, it's just another unit that's been missold as I class as a fake Technics. Even though there's been a lot of flack online, people going, it's such a thing as a fake Technics. I don't mean you know, a Citronic turntable that's been badged as a Technics. I'm just saying, if you buy a 1210 and it's a 1210, which is black, and it ends up turning up as silver with all the graphics all, you know, incorrect, or you buy a Mark V and it's got M3D internals or Mark II internals, you're going to be none the wiser, but technically that is fake because it's not as sold, right? It's not what you expected to buy and it's not what you were sold. So this was sold as an original unit that was not refurbished with its original box in great condition. This isn't just a private seller that sold this to my customer. This is an actual company that sold this and all it does is refurbish units and it's getting beyond a joke now. These are popping up quite a lot and I need to just make everybody aware just how popular this is. So what I'm about to show you is, is readily available online, popular auction sites. Just be bloody careful when you're buying these, okay? This turntable turned up for a service, issues with the arm, etc. just to have a look over and get everything sorted. The first thing I noticed when I took this out of the box, apart from realizing straight away that the actual, the, the coating on this deck is not original, was the graphics. So if you can look very carefully, you'll see that the graphics here are brighter than what you have originally on the deck. There's a reason for this. That's because when I took it out of the box, all of the three quarters of the bottom row of the graphics were completely missing. There wasn't anything there. So it completely rubbed away. If it's an original unit, you are never gonna have that happen and it's not gonna happen overnight. So they're completely missing. This graphic here is one of mine. That's my graphic, okay? I've designed these, I've installed this. That's not going anywhere for a very long time. But if you look very carefully at the difference in color between my graphics and what's been put on here, you'll see that mine are bright and these are like a gone off white, like an eggshell white. There's a reason why these have been done like this. Now, if you're trying to sell something or falsify and sell something as an original unit and you've matched the color the best you can, almost a really good match, and you want to get the graphics looking as original as possible, what are you going to do? Have them nice and bright or you're going to have them aged? And that is why the graphics look more of an eggshell um, shaded color because it matches the age of the paint of what the deck would be. Sounds ridiculous, but it's true, and that's why it's done. It makes things more authentic. So people like me aren't just gonna turn up and go, graphics are too bright, paint's not right, this doesn't match, blah, 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 blah. If you know what you're looking at, you'll know straight away this isn't original, okay? So this came through me for a service, like I say, and sort various different issues. The trims have been changed, or the trim had been changed over because this was pretty much hanging off on the bottom and it was a, a really bad copy. So the trim has been exchanged and changed over. Shader cloth installed as the original was absolutely filthy. The only good thing about this unit was the pitch slider unit. So the unit itself was an original unit in bloody good condition. I've stripped all that down, recalibrated, and the pitch is gorgeous. The arm assembly, you can see the arm assembly had been resprayed to match the rest of the plinth. This is what the guy has done. Uh, let's try and get away with having everything match even better. Uh, I've managed to obviously machine polish the pivots. We've machine polished the end sockets. I've machine polished the platter. This was absolutely filthy if you'd have seen this before. That's been done, but you can see just from looking at different areas on the plinth, like here for an example, see little spodge that's on the paint? This has been repainted. Um, obviously original units are not gonna have that like that, and it's pretty prominent. It's the only thing that really is like that on this unit. But the big giveaways, I'm gonna go through this again. I'm gonna try and do this one-handed, because I have got my camera in my hand doing this. Turn the turntable around if you're unsure on something on this, and have a look at the back. Now, you'll know straight away from this now, guys, you've seen enough of these videos that I've done in the past, there's no serial number. But not only is there no serial number, where's the big black decal on the left-hand side that was here? 
stating what model it was. So what happens is each base, if you buy these from new, you have a black sticker on here that shows you what model number, and you have a serial number in the corner. It corresponds with whatever you type in on a serial decoder online or with your box, they will both match, okay? If they're original and as from new, the serial number on the box will match the serial number on the turntable, either on the turntable or on some of the older units. If they haven't got them outside, they'll be underneath, on the mainboard underneath. But this hasn't got a sticker on there. And the reason it hasn't got a sticker on there is because it's this, this base obviously was not from this turntable. And he's taken the serial number off the back. Well, why do you think he's taken the serial number off, guys? It's been resprayed. If you had resprayed over the sticker, the sticker would have been there, and you see what it is underneath. So that's been resprayed, and there's no telling whether this was a 1200 or a 1210, obviously black or silver if you're in the UK, um, unit, because everything's been taken off, so your guess is as good as mine. Cables I've replaced for original cables. I had a nice set of original cables on there. There was really cheap and nasty units that were on them originally. Power cable again. This is the original one that was already on there. That's been kept on there. But no, so we've got another unit here which was sold as an original, which quite blatantly isn't. Now moving forward from this, because we've seen this a million times before, boxes. I'm asked all the time, what is the score with boxes, Jay? Because it sounds ridiculous. Yes, you can have fake turntables, but this is more important. This is the easiest way to tell. If you get any auction online or any shop online that's got a deck sitting on top of this box or next to this box and they're selling them as an original unit, not refurbished, not repainted, not powder coated, no nothing. If it shows this box like this, it's fake, okay? Now you can, I'm gonna show you an example at the moment of a genuine box from this era as well. Doesn't tell you what model on this side, it should. Okay, if we look around this side here of the box, you've got 1200 and 1210 on the top here, silver and black. Well, nothing's ticked if it was this style of box. It hasn't even been ticked to tell you what was inside it. No serial numbers on this whatsoever. Nothing on top, bottom or sides. And the internals are foam. Now, I can tell you now, the only boxes that I have seen which have foam internals on any Technics are Master Sounds boxes or any third-party reproduction boxes. Master Sound boxes are the only boxes you really should be buying if you can, if you can find them in your, obviously your location, because they are the best of the best. These are okay, but they're not designed for what it was. I mean, they're not, that's not a Technics box. That's what I'm getting from here. Now, if I quickly just walk you over to my other side of the unit, this is the packaging. This is the packaging that it was sent in as well. I mean, the majority of it was just foam, but if you look at this, this is from my other customer called Joe. This is an original box. Same era box as you can see. The box is not, not as, um, as tall in depth, not as tall as what the third party box would be. It tells you quite clearly what turntable's on there, including the color of the turntables. This one obviously being a 1200 Mark II in silver. The internals are made out of polystyrene. That is how they should be. So you can have the platter and everything all individually layered, including your dust cover. And you also have the top section for the box too. It sits over the top of the dust cover once everything is all in. And if I look around the side of the box here, again, doesn't give you two options for what turntable, it gives you one option. And there are the serial numbers. And these serial numbers match this customer's turntable because this is an original box that he's had from new and ironically from a retailer around the corner from my unit. <laughs> so I know this is genuine. And that's a genuine box, genuine internals. And going back over here, once again, fake box, fake internals, Two lots of numbers on here for what different model it is, no serial numbers, massive thickness and height difference in what the box should be. It's a very blatant rip off of the originals. You can look at the graphics and you can see just how, how bad some of this is, but to the untrained eye, you're never gonna know. But the fact that they've got all of the original graphics and the copyright on this is very, very naughty. It's not an original box, not an original condition turntable. And we're back to square one again with everything else that I've stated many times before. So be very careful guys, very, very careful when buying these turntables online. This customer only realized it, but it was too late. And that's when I notified him to tell him that this turntable was not original. He was none the wiser. And unfortunately, once you're told that things aren't original, it starts putting doubt in your mind. And, uh, it's such a pain in the backside, it really is. My main thing now is it's working exactly as it should be in the first place. It's been serviced correctly. 
Pitch control has been freshly calibrated, stripped down, restripped. Everything is working exactly as it should be. We've got new tactile switches. We've got uh, the arms been rebuilt. That was loose as anything. And it's running like a, like a quartz watch. It's, it's, it's lovely. It's lovely now. So apart from the fact that it's not, an it's not an original unit, there's nothing else to worry about. But once you tell someone it's not an original unit and they've purchased it as original, uh, it puts doubt in the minds and a lot of these tend to go back up for sale, unfortunately. But it is what it is. So keep your eyes peeled, guys. This is another one that's been resolved by myself. And like I said, be careful of these boxes. That's the biggest thing. If you're unsure, if, you're, if you do see these online and you're unsure whether the box is original or the deck is original, very simple what you ask for. To ask them for the serial number on the back of the turntable and they just ask them, ask them for a photograph. If they're genuinely wanting to sell these decks, a lot of these guys that do these refurbs like such like this to sell them quickly, you find the majority of them just need the money. Okay, they've got three or four of them there, or be half a dozen sitting there that all need stripping down, rebuilding, and they'll try and go between different parts, trying to get any old thing, throw it together like a, like a, like a Lego system. Do you know what I mean? Like throw things together just so they work. So ask them for the serial number on the back, get a photograph of the serial number on the back. If they claim it comes with its, with its original box, get the serial number photographed on the box and get a photograph of the internals. Now, I don't know about you, but if, so, if you were selling a Technics turntable or a pair of decks and you needed the money or you just wanted to have them sold and you've got the money in your account, you know, you're not really that bothered about it. But if you've got something up for sale and you want it gone, right, what, and someone asks you for serial numbers of the back of a unit and inside the box and maybe some photographs of the packaging, are you seriously going to say no? Are you seriously going to ignore the buyer? Of course you're not. You're going to be as upfront and honest with everything. You're going to go, yep, there you go, there's your photographs, there we go. And as long as the customer is happy, you're, uh, the, the, you know, as, long as, the, as long as the customer's happy, he's going to buy it. So I put in lying, it'll go straight back. So serial numbers, check for them. Make sure that the, the bases or the, or the base stickers on the back are all obviously in position. Make sure the serial number is still on the back as well. The boxes, make sure that it does not look like this. Make sure that there's no foam internals and that they're all polystyrene with cardboard tops because that's not original like our state. And just keep your eyes peeled. And, for, uh, and as always, I mean, look, I find it very hard to try and get back to people at the moment. There's many, many messages, and obviously just come back from holiday again. So there's a lot for me to catch up on, and I can't get back to everyone as quick as I can. I'm really sorry, but if you do genuinely get stuck, you can call me, you can email me, get me on the Facebook page, um, send me over a message, anything you want. I will get back to you eventually, and I do apologise if you've been waiting weeks for a response, but... If it's really important, call me, guys. It's not hard. My details are on the website, and I'll be more than happy to give you some advice. Before I went on holiday, uh, last time before I went on holiday, we had a customer that decided he was trying to buy a pair of Technics, and he called me up and said, look, I'm going to go and look at these in a couple of days. Do you mind if I video call you or if I message you some details and photographs so you can have a look at them and let me know when I'm there? And I turned around and said, well, I'll do even better than that, mate. When you get there, video call me. So he literally had the seller, the, the, the buyer's phone in his hand, you know, going over the decks, holding him still with me telling him things to check. I must have been like the worst nightmare for this seller. But in the end, he checked everything. They were original. They looked good. There was a couple of little things, but nothing major. And in the end, he got them for a Kraken price and their original condition. And the customer was obviously more happy now with peace of mind that the decks were in original condition and were what they should have been. So... Again, if you, if you genuinely need help, I'm more than happy to, to help you out in any way I can, as long as I have the time spare, guys, all right? So if you have any, have any genuine, quick questions that need answering, call me or send me over a message by Facebook, all right? Or send me over an email, but calling me is the quickest way. And there we go. Um, that's the first video of quite a few. There's a lot of turntables and bits to go through at the moment over here. We've then got the two over here. There's two over there. There's some gold techniques. Oh, it goes round and round and round. Either way, there we go. So, guys, enjoy the rest of your day. I'm going to crack on now, get this boxed up, and uh, get started on the next two pairs of decks. So, have a good one, everybody. Take it easy.